Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another trailer breakdown for the Elseworlds crossover. So they just released the Batwoman version of it. We're going to be breaking it down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, they dropped the fourth trailer last night. This is, again, very short, maybe a tad bit longer. It has some more like extended versions like various other scenes rather than just one particular scene like the supergirl promo like the flash promo and like the arrow promo for the crossover so we get our first look at batwoman people have been theorizing online like newspaper articles online have been going crazy theorizing we're going to be talking about some of those sort of theories that came out of this trailer and we're going to be breaking it down. In the first shot of the trailer you get to see Batwoman standing on top of what looks like a building in Gotham. It reminds me sort of like of the Dark Knight or something along those lines. But moving on to the next shot and this next shot is outside of Arkham Asylum where there's a prison break and people have been theorizing online and I think it's a bit far-fetched a bit too far-fetched because I don't think they have the permissions to use this character but they think this person jumping over the balcony could be the Joker or a different iteration of the Joker. I purely think he is just an inmate there. Most of the people in Arkham Asylum are psychotic if they've been put in for the right reason and so they all have traits of the Joker and yes this seems a bit Joker-like but I do believe it's just a normal person just breaking out of Arkham Asylum we know there's going to be a prison break so we'll have to wait and see but it seems like Batwoman is going to foil that prison break as you can see in the next shot is actually a continued shot which we'll talk about later and she meets one of our characters and this is just so exciting seeing her come to life and we get to see the bat symbol and they're going to be shining it into the sky and this is just like so exciting for Batman and Batwoman Bat family fans like myself and so a really really nice shot and i really like the way that it's been lit you get to see sort of like the outline of batwoman and you see two bodies on the ground in the night and that is just like a perfect ominous noir type shot that batman is very associated with the darkness and the very little light and so we get a wide shot of batwoman as she stands outside arkham asylum that's the same place where that prisoner just came out and jumped over the balcony and this is met with the dialogue throughout the trailer someone says you don't believe in Batman and I think that's Barry saying that and I think Oliver says Batman is an urban legend and so I do think this potentially could be on our earth but most likely more than not it's probably going to be on that Elseworlds earth and you see Green Arrow Barry with Cisco and it seems like this is our normal version of Cisco and they say that's not Batman as they see Batwoman presumably for the very first time I really like their reactions I'm really looking forward to the interactions with Batwoman and then we get the final shot of the trailer which is a close-up of Batwoman and this is just awesome I think Ruby looks looks totally the part. From the trailer scenes that she's been in just in this trailer, she seems to be perfect, she looks exactly right, but we'll have to wait and see as to how good she is as Batwoman and also as her normal self. I think that's going to be sort of the factor. I have no doubt she's going to be a great Batwoman, it's just whether she can act that normal part of herself out as well but we actually have some new updates as to what's happening with batman and also kara in this crossover so apparently kara is unchanged the producers have confirmed that that she's going to be normal and she's going to be the one to help everyone and try and get them back to the way they're supposed to be and in regards to batman we got the confirmation that batman has been gone from gotham for three years so that is why he is seen as an urban legend and obviously Batwoman is filling in the mantle, most likely due to the fact that the streets of Gotham have gone untouched for these three years. So, oh my god, I'm just so ready for this. Let me know down in the comments below, are you guys really excited like I am? And so, I will have a, another Elseworlds video out later today. There was loads of photos that were dropped yesterday, and I did a breakdown of that. That's going to be posting later tonight. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.